Welcome back to Mercury Farms for episode 16 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's 7.43 in the morning and we're back at the store. I have got a silage harvest to do. And there's new machinery out. So we've got some new stuff to play with. Um, I'm going to lease a few bits of machinery, a few bits of equipment, things that might make our life a little bit easier. They might not. We'll see how we go. Um, and I might need to do... Just thinking, I might need to do a fuel run or something. We'll see how the money goes. I might need to do something to help pay for it. We'll see how we get on. I really do need to get those hinges sorted. I know I keep saying that. Right. I have a shopping list. First up. I'm going to use one of these. Terravarium. I know it's going to be expensive. I don't care. Uh, large. No, I think we'll go standards, I think. Standards. Let's lease that. I'm going to um, under augers. I'm going to lease the multi tank because that does chaff, and I want to try that out. So let's lease that. Uh, yeah. I'm going to the trailers. We're going to lease, where is it? I think I'm going to go with the pace setter, Super B. But, um, rim color, chrome, of course. Main color, stainless. Gunmetal does look really nice. Yeah, I'm going gunmetal, why not? Design colour. That's the covers. How many way, isn't it? The only way to go. Right, then lease that. Like I say, it's gonna be pricey, but it doesn't matter. Um and then what we're gonna do is I think I was gonna go with the pace setter to increase my capacity out but what I might do because it should still work that one three nine oh that's the only trouble with that oh that's a good point I've just realized hang on does the that's weird it doesn't say what it takes because it might not take chaff ah that could be a mistake oh, we'll have to see <laughs> let's go with it's going to be a weird combination but it doesn't matter it'll give me a little bit more um does that one do chaff it does doesn't it it's just that one doesn't. Right, okay. Let's go with the larger cramp trailer, I think. At least that. Now what else do we need? Oh yeah, <laughs> the most important part of all of this. We could probably do with the forage harvester, couldn't we? So, what do we do? The big X1180? It's expensive, isn't it? That's the same job. How much that to lease? 26 grand. That one's only 11. That one's 18. Oh, you know what? Let's go with the chrome. Doesn't matter. I'll go with the long pipe as well. <laughs> go big or go home. <clears throat> this is, this is going to cost me a lot of money in the long run uh, right we need forage harvester headers and we want the corn header it goes with the oh is that it there isn't it nine meter header let's lease that okay let's close that wow that's quite a lot of equipment 
not quite sure how this is all going to work out, but uh, let's just see. Why not? Let's have a mad day. Probably won't end up making enough on the chaff anyway. <laughs> That'd be just about typical, wouldn't it? Right, okay, so... Which are we going? It's a big, isn't it? Face. That is huge. That might have been a bit excessive. I don't say might have, you know, it might not have been. <laughs> That's a mad looking bit of kit, isn't it? Right. Let's switch the header. Let's open the header up. Cool. Uh, actually, I probably should have waited, shouldn't I? I haven't got a lot of room in here. You know what? Let's the the field and then we'll open it. Right, I'm going to go and grab the rest of the equipment, we'll bring it all up, get it all set up, and we'll get cracking on this harvest. I've moved the equipment up, I've got the Terra variant here with the forage harvester. This is what I'm not happy about. This didn't work at all. I'm still not convinced this is even going to take chaff, um, but hooking that up, that just does not work. I mean, it, it will turn, it will drive, it just looks hideous. It's all merged into itself. Not good at all. Um, so what I'll do is I'll give it a run, see if that will take chaff. If it won't, I'll probably just end up going with the 50, 59,000 litre. I know there are lots of different ways of doing it. There are different configurations of hook lift trailers and all sorts of stuff. I thought I would try out the new um, the pace setter one, but yeah, that's no, it's not good. Don't like that at all. Uh, just the way it is. Now, I also know there are loads of different ways of doing this, but I wanted to use the big, um, I always say it wrong, Krona, Krona, um, the big X, I wanted to use that, but I also wanted to use the new Terra variant, I wanted to try out the new uh, multi-tank, so let's start that up. What I will do before I do anything else, I think, Let's open this one up. So, let's open it up. Pipe right out. Is that going to hit that? Boom. A little bit. So what I'll do now then, so I'll curl that over. Bring that down a bit. That might at least alleviate a little bit of that. Okay. So what should happen is I should be able to hire a worker on here. Whoa, like that. 
that is so cool. Right, let's jump in that. Let's drive from the side. Actually, having that long pipe on the um, chrome probably worked out perfectly. I forgot the cab lifted up on that. So you can see above the crops. That looks really cool. This is going to fill up the 35,000 litres really quickly. Uh, but that, again, that's not a problem at all. It's the whole point of this, is it being an auger wagon, chaser bin type piece of equipment. And the fact we can now do chaff in it as well, which is really cool. So I thought I'd try all these new things out. That's the whole point of this map. Whoops. My mistake. Come back and tie it back. Overexcited. Is that going to turn around here? Where's it going? What I'll probably do is a strip either end again, give us a bit of turning room. I'm assuming that's why it's backed up, because there's nowhere to turn. Let's hire a worker. Okay. You'll probably be able to you know, just follow it from behind, I suppose, with a long pipe. Rather next to it, that'll work. What I'll do once that hits 35, which will be in time now, I'm going to also adjust the cruise control on this down to 6. So I can operate that now. In the moment, the worker is still in that. Now, this is the only downside to it this way is every time you drive off to unload, if you leave it on a worker, you're getting charged while it's sitting there. See if this will unload into the pace setter. My money's on no. <laughs> Let's raise. Uh, there we go. A little bit, I think. Doesn't seem to want to. Yeah, we're going to this one straight away, but it won't do that one. Oh, that's annoying. Right, well, that's unloading then. Let's disconnect that from that. This is going to go back. Well, aside from that trailer situation not working, this worked out perfectly. So we'll carry on. As we are. That's going to be a lot of runs, backwards and forwards, but it was always going to be. And I'm pretty sure all of the, um, 
for them. Uh, the forage trailers, I think the largest one of those is only 56 or 57,000, might, might be 58. So once I get up behind it, like so, back on the cruise control. Seems a little bit too fast. There we go. Matched it perfectly. Cool. So let's jump in. Okay, that's full right. Okay, that's weird. Why has it done that? That's work, isn't it? That 
absolutely bonkers. Right, I'm just about to fill up the cramp 59,000 litre for the second time. And then what I'll do, I've done all the way around that way. Hopefully we shouldn't get the issue we had at this end. I'm not quite sure why that happened, why it turned round. Um, I need to tidy up this end actually saying that, just realised. But this is working really well. So like I say, this will continue for a little while and uh, cover that up. And I'll see you in a bit, either when the field, well, uh, yeah, we'll see. Maybe there'll be a bit of the field being done, maybe it'll be impacting. I'm not quite sure yet.
Okay, the field's cleared. I've got 10,800 litres just over in here and the truck's full as well with 59. I've done a few runs backwards and forwards and I'll be honest with you, I haven't actually checked to see what's in the bunker silo. The bunker silo does need compacting as well. So I'm thinking I might try and use this or it could get bogged down. Often if I've got a forage harvester on hand, I'll use the forage harvester. Um, it works incredibly well. What I'm going to do is take this over because I want to see as well whether or not I can unload into a bunker silo directly from this. Not that that's the most effective way of doing it, but there's no reason why it shouldn't do it. It should overload through that pipe. But it's got worth a try it. Now, the bunker silo is by no means anywhere near full it couldn't be further away from being full but there's a bit in there and at the end of the day we'll, we'll ferment it and then we'll sell it at the B, uh, I keep saying BGA biogas plant it, you know I was never quite sure biogas plant I get BGA what does that actually stand for I'll have to look that up Oh, there might actually be, I'm trying to think now, is that a German, like a company name for it, possibly? I'm racking my brains. My memory's been terrible lately. I suppose I've done quite a lot of videos, <laughs> quite a lot of mod reviews. Just remembering everything is unbelievable. Right, let's see then. If we come up on here and press unload... Oh, well, that's all right. Cool. There we go. So if I now put the pipe in... Hold that and disconnect. I wonder. Must be chunky wheels. I'm just worried about the three point and the back. Oh, that reminds me. Um, Barris messaged me because this has been done over a couple of days again. The DLC's out, but this is another day of recording. Uh, that the problem with the rear trailer hitch on the back is going to be resolved in an update. Apparently the PC version does have a ball hitch connection on there, uh, but the console one it hasn't worked for some reason. So that's going to be resolved in an update apparently. Um, there should be a ball hitch coming. I know I wasn't going mad, I, you know. Like I've said before, you know what it's like, you start second guessing yourself and then you think, did I misremember that? Was it real? Did it actually have one before? And it's interesting as well, I always find fascinating the, the, the comments, not necessarily by subscribers, but just people that watch the video. You find half the people that comment say, oh yeah, I definitely had one. And then the other half will say, no, no, it never did. So I'm, I'm never quite sure then from comments either. It seems half the people misremember just the same as I did. Right, that's not fully compact yet, but what I will do, let's put that on. Because I've got another 59,000 litres to come. We're up to 363,000, so it'll take us over 400,000 litres. That's not bad off that one field, actually. It's not a huge field, is it? Right, I'm going to go back over, um, grab the last 59,000 litres. You may have wondered why there was a telehandler on the field with a bucket. For some reason, one of the loads I was going alongside with this, I think it was pilot error, I think, uh, and I started unloading onto the ground. I'm not quite sure how I did that, um, so I had to bring that the telehandler over with the bucket to pick it all up off the floor and put it into the truck, so, or lorry. My dart across. Go. Right, see you in a minute.
So just using the telehander and the bucket, I'm just getting all the silage or the chaff at the moment away from the front of the silo because as you compact and you keep driving on and off at the front, it squeezes it all out at the front of the bunker. So it's always better to give yourself a bit of leeway at the front so that driving backwards and forwards, you don't lose any of your total because obviously if I've put a certain amount in here anything that comes out past the front of that silo doesn't register as being in the silo so that should now be done we're not far off compacted and done so we're looking at 423,825 litres in here and what should happen now is, yeah, 99% compacted. It's not going to take very much now, is it? As long as me driving off the front with this <laughs> doesn't squash any more out. So, there you go. Compacted 100%. Didn't take too long. And, if I'm not mistaken, if I look along the front there, line up those two walls there's nothing sticking out the front there so when I blanket this should be good blanket silo yep all covered job done 423,000 litres not bad all this equipment can go back now it's a chaffing homer nice now oddly I had a comment left to say remember back in the old days in FS15 when the organ wagons took chaff, I honestly, again, talking about my memory, I don't remember. But I'm thinking back to FS15. I don't remember really using auger wagons very often. Um, I was fairly new to the game in FS15, so I don't think I did. And then you've always got that situation when people are commenting. You've got people commenting that play an Xbox but Xbox, PS4 and PC and sometimes the PC guys comment and say oh yeah I've done this done that or you can do this can do that um, and again it's no it's no slight I think sometimes they just forget the console guy, guys can't it, you know for some of the things not all of the stuff but um, there you go right we're done that's it uh, this equipment all needs to go back then tidy up put away that can go ready for another delivery run job of some description um, and I think with that covered what time is it two minutes past ten in the morning we're probably done for this episode I think that was what I was intended to do silage harvest on the cornfield bring it all over stick it in the bunker compact it and cover it we've done what we set out to do I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.